Hi, I'm Rich Brown, senior editor for CNET. Today we're going to take a look at HP's Omni 27. So this is the largest Windows-based all-in-one, and we say that because it has a 27-inch screen. Pretty much every other large Windows all-in-one before this has a 23 or 24-inch display, so HP is currently the king of the block in terms of screen size. Now Apple's iMac, of course, also has a 27-inch model, and that actually has a higher resolution than this HP. But for most consumers, the 1080p resolution on this 27-inch HP should be good for home entertainment, particularly if you want to watch Blu-ray movies. So our 1249 configuration here comes with a Core i5 CPU, 8 gigs of RAM, a 1 terabyte hard drive, embedded graphics, and a slot loading Blu-ray drive. And that's a fairly average configuration for a system of this price. It's really the screen that sells the system. So it's worth noting this is not a touchscreen like a lot of all ones we see these days. That said, HP has still included its Magic Canvas software, which is a touch-oriented platform designed to give you sort of a larger working space that makes it easier to use if you're using just your finger. Uh, we're not really sure why Magic Canvas makes sense here. It really just seems to clutter up the display. Uh, that said, you can turn it off, completely ignore it, so it doesn't really do any harm. HP also includes Beats Audio on the Omni, which as far as we can tell is just a software overlay that exposes some of the audio features already built into Windows 7. Now that said, we had no problems with the Blu-ray audio when we played it. It got loud enough, it kept its integrity, so we really don't see the need for Beats here, but you might want to play with it, I guess. Now the other very cool feature is that it comes with an HDMI input, which is actually not unique, but with this large screen, that makes it very useful if you want to use the system as a home entertainment hub. With the HDMI in, you can effectively use the system as a second display and connect a cable box, a game console, or any other HDMI-based video source. Uh, we do wish HP had included some other video ins and outs in this system. It makes it easier to, say, use as a second monitor or to use with perhaps legacy video devices. For other connectivity features, you get USB 3, USB 2, and a couple other audio jacks. That's really about it. We should also add that for about the same price, you can get a 23-inch all-in-one from another vendor that has much faster core specs. So while the system can handle day-to-day -day browsing around and most mainstream tasks, its embedded graphics chip makes it hard to game on this system, which is kind of disappointing, even if it's a nice big display. So because this is the first 27-inch Windows all-in-one, HP can get away with charging a little bit more for it. If you want a Windows all-in-one with a nice big screen like this, right now HP's is the only game in town. That said, we know later this year, Lenovo, Samsung, and other vendors will also have 27-inch all-in-ones, and those will actually have touch screens. So it might be worth waiting if you're in the market for a new large screen all-in-one. So I'm Rich Brown. This is the HP Omni 27.